everybody, welcome to the Ridgeway World. I'm Jeff. Terry's over her illness, and I skated through without getting it. So, tell everybody how you're feeling right now. I'm feeling a lot better. I'm feeling probably between 90 and 95%. I still have some congestion, and, and <clears throat> my energy isn't like up where it should be. But, right. uh, for those who don't know, I had COVID. Um, for the third time. Yes, for the third time, which is odd because you just had it in June. I mean, immunities, yeah. antibodies, all that, you would well, think Well, I don't know. Maybe your antibodies don't last as long as you think they do. What about... <clears throat> well, no, I think they do because if you get the if you get the shots, then you get the booster. I didn't get the booster. Well, I know. Neither did I. But we had the shots, but you had it three times now, so you think your antibodies would be up. Well, now, yeah, but I'm not going to count on them and rely on them, so... Right. Um, <clears throat> do you think it's because you retired and you're not around a lot of people all the time? You're not around Jackie and Larry or maybe? Uh, I don't know. I have no and idea. And Logie, Logie's, old, you know, Logan was a little kid. Uh, Paigey with going to school and stuff. I don't know. I think it's just I was, I happened to be out that, uh, you know... And Partying I, with the ladies, right? I, I, at a bar. At, well, it was a birthday celebration, so I just happened to be around a lot of people, and maybe that the whatever variant I had, I'd gotten, which was probably this. Um, what is it? The last one, the Omicron. Well, nah, I think Omicron, and there's, <clears throat> now there's a couple of new ones. I don't know. Like I get them mixed up. BG5. Either way, I'm getting better. That's I just all think that it's a very contagious um, virus, and that you know. You're going to get it. There right. are a lot of people who get it over and over and right. over again. Right, and, I, and so. I've been lucky because Terry's had it three times. I've only had it once, and not that we're keeping score, but, you know, is, is it maybe... It sounds like you are. Oh, I always keep score. Everything's yeah. a game to me. My whole life's a game. But either way, I'm just saying that is, okay, so I go, I'm out all the time. I'm out of work. I'm, I'm out different places. So maybe my immunity it or my could, antibodies could, are building it up. It could be. I don't know. We won't know. I don't know. No. So am I winning right now? Because that's what I like to be. I like to be the winner. Yeah. So I'm looking over here at this table. As we are back, it's been like 10 days, and, you know, uh, Terry doesn't like, you know, she was very sick. I, I, I feel bad for her, and we we're trying, you know, to get through this. And yes, you do all I the haven't editing felt like doing man. editing right. and all that stuff, so now you're back. Um, no, we're back. It's not about me. No, you're back. <laughs> no, it's all about me. But no, no, I don't understand that. So, but we have a couple items here that came in. Terry was able to get to the post office now because she was fever free for a couple of days and able to get back to the post office. I don't know what the Zumba thing is, but I will, that didn't come in like fan mail, did it? No, um, that's old. Oh, uh, okay. yeah, I could show that after you're done. So we got a letter here from <laughs> Justin Butler. Thanks, Justin. God only knows what it is. I had to put my glasses on so I can see this shit. Oh, and speaking of shit, I just <laughs> Terry's going to be pissy about this because the other night we were laying in bed. I just took tune out in the middle of the night because Luna can't sleep all night for some reason. She got to take a shit in the middle of the night. So I'm taking her out. Come back in bed. We had chili for dinner, so I had the winds. I farted really loud, obnoxious, obnoxiously, and then so I'm about ready to doze off, and Terry wakes up and says. Oh my God, did you hear that somebody's in the house? I said, no, I just farted. It was so loud, it sounded like something fell in the living room. So just a, these are things that... Yeah, so this is, and I'll tell you what, that was, it scared me because for a minute I thought... <laughs> it was good. Did I hear that in my head? Was I like... If was, I was farted I on your head, you would have heard it in no, your head. No, I mean like, was I dreaming and I heard this noise? It was, it was just very, um... But... It, it scared me. But this was like 4 o'clock in the morning. I know. So the you, rest... And you thought it was funny. I was crying. I mean, literally crying in my... Trying to go to sleep. So it was either way. I couldn't do it. But, okay. And this is for Justin Butler. Dear Psycho Dad, I've been watching you since the Psycho series. It would be awesome to meet you all. I live in Texas. I'm sorry, because you're a Dallas Cowboys fan. And we're playing the Eagles. Okay. So, I live in Texas. Hopefully, I can come meet you all. You played a great character. P.S. Go Dallas Cowboys. I can't <laughs> believe I even said that. Oh, go Eagles. But, Justin, thank you for that. We appreciate that. And I, I, I love the Eagles. I love Green Bay Packers. So, but it's okay that you like Dallas. Really? 
Okay, so next we have uh, another letter here to Terry Ridgeway. Oh. But oh, oh, please yeah, that's do not right. read on camera. No, yeah, this I is did, private. That was a small part. Oh, it's private? It says private on the back. Okay, yeah, I saw this is from Millie Downs. Um, I'll read that. That's nice. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, we have, what's, this is from Mary Abe, Jeff and Terry Ridgway. I might have to get something subtle. There's scissors over in there. We don't use them. We like knives, big knives. No, well, you know, yeah. Mm -hmm. But didn't you cut yourself the last time you used a knife? Yeah, and the big thing on my leg, my big thing on my leg, look, is finally healed up, people. Look at that. Okay, that looks good. Yeah, it turned out good. It wasn't MRSA. It was some kind of big, uh, big thorn or something. I have no idea what that was. But either way, it healed up. You think that's for you, Johnny? Huh? Johnny, is this a present for you? Is this a dog vest or something, maybe? Uh-oh, there's a note in here, and I don't want to ruin things because generally I screw things up. Dear Jeff and Terry, I love your channel. Well, thank you. It is so refreshing to watch. Thank you for sharing your Ridgeway world with us and those of us who have grown to love you since the Psycho series. I have always loved to draw. I used to post artwork on Twitter until I got permanently, unfairly, in parentheses, banned for a comment I made on Uncle Larry's channel. I used to post artwork related to McJuggernaut and Larry's Lounge. Now you guys are, with a big arrow, it says my inspiration. Please Aww, enjoy. Marinetta nice. Abe. Well, thank you, Marinetta. Yes. I haven't opened it yet. Thank you. P.S. I'm, I'm quite rusty with snail mail. Dun, 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 dun. Oh! Wait a minute. Let me get it right. Can you see that? Oh, that's awesome. That is. That is awesome. Did that's I get it? cool. That, I got it and look how happy we look. No, look how young I look. <laughs> Thank you. That is perfect. Nice, Mary. Yep. Appreciate it. Yeah, wait a minute. There's another. I think this is the, the big boy shirt for me. Aww. That is so sweet. Yes. That is. Don't we look young, though? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Mary Anna. We, we like to look young. Because as we all know, Terry turned 60. And for now, for another month, she's you know actually what? a year it's, older than me. Jeffrey, it's just a number. You it know, is. people have been asking me, what's it like to turn 60? And are you having any problems? And, yeah, you know, that kind of thing. And to me, it's it's just a number. It, I, it doesn't, like, make me gonna, feel... Wait a minute. You're <clears> going to get to the anxiety aspect of it? Because I tease you all the time. And look. I we've don't married, have anxiety over it. But we've you, been married... You're giving me anxiety just because you keep harping on it. Well, I do because I have that one month out of the each year that I'm going to be technically a year younger than Terry. So this is big because no. right now... Oh, thank you. That's what it sounded like the other night when I farted and you thought somebody was in the house. Uh-huh. But no, I, I, I just... I. I flex basically because I have one year, you know, behind Terry. But again, this is a big year for us. Terry turned 60. I'll turn 60 in another month. But it, it, it's a big deal. You know what? Ask me when I'm about to turn 80. Because I think 80 might be a uh, mind thing. I'm not sure. But because, you know, the older you get, the less time you have here. I don't want to get That's kind of I sad. Don't, why would I you don't get morbid. Huh? So why? No, I'm just saying that maybe 80 might be something that I have a problem with. But as of right now, no. Oh, it's okay. Not. Are you thirsty, John? Yeah, I don't, I don't think they have a problem Hi, with 60. Hi, Johnny. I don't, I don't even know if I have... Hi, Johnny. Hi, Johnny. Hi, Johnny. Hi, Johnny. Hi, Johnny. Oh, there's the babies. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> But yeah, I, 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 but from my personal opinion, I don't have a problem with turning 60. I don't have a problem with 70, 80. I can't control it, so it, it's got to be fine, right? Yeah. But I think we're doing pretty good for our age. Uh, we appreciate all the fans. We appreciate uh, the, the gifts that everybody says. And again, what the hell is the Zumba thing? Oh, that you know what? I was cleaning out a box in the closet. Uh, and I had bought this a while ago. Gosh, I can't remember how long ago. But it was to just do, um, I was going to start doing Zumba as an exercise. So I've got the book here. 
and I've got the DVDs. Um, and these are the shakers uh, that you use, I guess, you know, and helps those to help your arms build your arms up. And I will not use it, and I did not. I use, I think I used it once or twice. So what do you want to do with it? I actually would like to give it away. So if there is somebody in the uh, comments, um, I preferably somebody in the United States who thinks that they could right. use it, or you know, will definitely use it. Um, let me know. Cause my ass ain't using uh, it. Put, just put it in the comments, and then. Um, uh, if you're on Twitter, that would be even better because right. then you could DM me or Jeff, and um, yeah, I'll send it to you. Well, it'll probably be better I'll send to DM to you, honestly, because I'm not on Twitter that much. Even though you know, I appreciate some of the comments and things, and I try to get back to people. But yeah, if you if you're interested in that Zumba thing, it's complete. Uh, please DM Terry. Yeah, I want to give it to somebody who's going to use it. You know, right. so yeah, just let me know. And again, I'll throw this out there again, and I think I threw it out in, a, in another video. If anybody local wants that Miata, the orange Miata, I will gladly give it to them and sign the title over. As long as you come with a trailer to pick it up and you DM Terry and send it up ahead of time, I will gladly get rid of it. So we're trying to clean shit out of the yard, and that's a, that's an eyesore yeah. sitting there. So. And I have other stuff that I am going to go through, so... What about this thing? Do you want to get rid of this? Uh, there's a lot of Fisher people Fisher in people. our family, oh, okay. so, so you don't I want to ask... Offshore angler. Yeah. Hey. I used to use that when I went striper fishing and put my pole in there because it was it was just too... The stripers are just too heavy right. for my skinny and you're little a arms. Per, you're a wee person. Yeah. So, yeah, but now I, I'm out. I'm thinking somebody... Unless, to somebody, unless somebody in the United States... Really right. wants that and knows how to use them. Right. And hold that up so they can see. It's perfect. It, um, like Strap in, wrap, and put your pole in the, in yeah, the it's, end. It's a Velcro, uh, goes around your waist. Right. Um, Offshore or your angler. Hips or whatever. So, yeah. Worn by T Teresa. I mean, Marie. that's a possibility too. If somebody right. I is mean, really interested in that, I, I would send that to them if, if they're in the United States because international shipping is just so, so expensive. But, yeah, just, well, all right, just hit me up, right. um, Twitter DMs, or um, you could say something in the comments if you don't do Twitter, and maybe somehow we can get a hold of you there, or I can give you an email. Um, Perfect. Okay? Yeah, that works out. And again, thanks for the shirts, Marietta. We appreciate that. They're beautiful. And again, thank you for making us look young, and, uh, you know, we appreciate all the gifts that anybody sends. So... You have anything else, huh? Uh, no, not right but, now. But I, I just want to say I worry de deeply about my lovely wife, and she put me through some little pressures with her illnesses. But with that, uh, I'm glad we're back. So you're you're doing good. I, I like 90 to 95 percent. Well, thank so. you. All right. Well, either way, everybody have a great day and a good life.